you know, I'm just, I'm starting off this video with the face palm because, you know, I saw it coming. We all saw this coming, guys. New companies attempting to swoop in and take advantage to capitalize on the hype of Pokemon Go in 2016 and beyond. So, we're going to quickly address the hot topic of Harry Potter Wizards Unite. And can Pokemon Go survive the new wave of AR game spin-offs? And what this means for the future of AR gaming moving forward? Alright, let's get started. So as you all may know, or you may not know, maybe you're just learning this for the first time, but Niantic and Warner Brothers have teamed up to introduce the next AR mobile game, Harry Potter Wizards Unite. And, you know, I definitely, I saw this coming from Pokemon Go's inability, or the Niantic team's inability, to push out frequent updates for Pokemon Go. I said, you know, instead of making Pokemon Go the greatest game of all time, which it definitely could become, um, Niantic is going to stagnate with the updates. They're going to give other companies opportunities to take advantage of the hype of Pokemon Go. And, you know, first we got dragons, now we got wizards coming through the woodwork. So, Niantic actually posted this tweet about a couple of days ago. And it says, the magic of Harry Potter is coming to a neighborhood near you with Harry Potter Wizards Unite. And my goodness, the backlash of this game to begin with, rightfully so. So, I actually got one of the top tweets. I just, I guess got really salty on the ante with this tweet. I was like, fix Pokemon Go first. OMG, are you serious? It was actually like my most liked tweet of all time. Seven retweets, 97 likes. But shout out to my friend Dissy Adventures very detailed and very well thought out and very intelligent response to this announcement and I just went full on salty but I, yeah, I got I got second place so you know that's alright but again Twitter stats don't really matter and what's interesting to point out is Niantic actually responded with this message you know they they heard the backlash from the Pokemon Go fan base the original AR game fan base and this is what they said trainers just like many of you, we're super excited about Harry Potter, Wizards Unite, and are working hard with our partners at Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment and WB Game San Francisco's development to bring that to life. However, we, the Pokemon Go development team, want to say that we are 100% committed to creating an ever-changing and growing game that gets our players out exploring, meeting each other, and deepening their connection to the Pokemon universe. We're actively expanding the Pokemon Go development team to build many more amazing features in 2018. Stay tuned for an update next week on upcoming improvements to certain features. Our Ingress, Harry Potter, Wizards Unite, and Pokemon Go development teams are all hiring. You can take a look at our postings and apply online here. And this is good to see this from Niantic, not only responding to us, but posting their jobs. And you know, when you take taking a quick glance, they need a lot of positions filled. So you know, if you feel like you're up to the task, Please apply for Niantic. Um, please have please have them hire you, and please make Pokemon Go a better game than it is right now. Um, for all, from all of us, from the Pokemon Go fan base, the Pokemon community, um, if you feel like you can make Pokemon Go a better game, if you feel like you can get PvP in there, if you feel like you can get more generations added to the game, if you feel like you can make the game what it's supposed to be, please apply for Niantic. Please work for them. Um, they need help. <laughs> They, they need help, guys, so um, that's what I had to say from Niantic's point of view. So, again, it was encouraging to see that Niantic is, they're not completely um, putting their team to work on Harry Potter. It's mostly Warner Brothers is going to be working on the development of this game, but Niantic is going to be um, helping out with the stack, so the underlying GPS locations of the real world that Ingress and Pokemon Go and other AR games utilize. That is what Niantic is mostly going to be working on with this new Harry Potter game. So that's encouraging to note that you know Niantic did hear us as a community and they responded. That was the big thing to me is that um, Niantic came out and said something. You know. It's usually one-sided. It's just us complaining 
requesting to Niantic and we get nothing in return other than an unfair EX ray pass system, um, delayed generations, delayed content. And at this point, I'm just I'm just burnt out with Niantic at this point, with the with the failure of the EX pass testing, whatever it is and other things holding the game back. I mean, I love the game. I love the game. Pokemon Go is absolutely my life at this point. It's my heart and soul. I love the game, but I'm just getting so burnt out with Niantic. So, love the game, hate Niantic. They need to get their stuff together, seriously. But um, I just want to quickly address that you no, know, if Harry Potter, Wizards Unite, if that is your thing, if you're stoked on the game, Hey, go ahead, go for it, and I really hope you enjoy your time um, playing the game. Harry Potter is, I'll tell you right now, let's take a look at the website right here. If they did write something about this, but I can tell you right now, Harry Potter is not my thing. Um, again, DX1 is a Pokemon Go channel, and I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna stay dedicated to Pokemon. I'm gonna stick to what I know and what I love which is Pokemon, the DX1 is going to be a Pokemon channel, I'm not going to be, I highly doubt I'm going to be playing Harry Potter Wizards Unite, um, if the hype is big enough, maybe I'll download it, maybe I'll try it, I don't know, but again, this is a Pokemon Go channel, I'm going to be covering Pokemon, that is my heart, that is what I love, that is what I'm best at, and, you know, if you feel as if Harry Potter Wizards Unite is the, is the game for you, go right ahead. Honestly, guys, in conclusion, I just really hope this doesn't become a thing, because, again, we're dealing with extended competition, which is good and bad in, a, in sorts. Like, Draconius Go, the Draconius Go hype has definitely, I believe, pushed Niantic to send out more features to Pokemon Go, give us more out of the game. But then again, we're getting, again, soon it's going to be... Who knows, it's going to be Tamagotchi Go next, it's going to be Garfield, it's going to be Hot Wheels Go, and it's just going to be all of these spin-offs. Again, Pokemon Go is the king, it is the pioneer, but again, you're looking at all of these different games being introduced, and you're kind of getting, I'm kind of getting restless a little bit. Um, I kind of want, I want Pokemon Go to stay on top, and again, um, with the trajectory of Pokemon Go, the way things are looking for it, the way things are going, and with all these spin-offs coming up out of the woodwork, you know, this could be an opportunity for these companies to take, kind of take over Pokemon Go, which I don't want. So, again, I, I hope this doesn't become a thing. It's probably going to come out, I'd say, early summer is when I'm, I probably think they're going to launch this thing early summer, try to capitalize on people coming outside once again, you know, the winter is going to be over. But, that, then again, I'm, I'm done with talking about Harry Potter Wizards Unite, that's... I wanted to quickly address it, and it's again, it's one of the hot topics um, going on in the community right now. But next, we're gonna go and get a little adventure into this video. I didn't want this to just be a news update video. I want to get a little Pokemon going here. I want to get a little bit of adventure. So we're gonna go out there and we're gonna solo Cloister. Let's go get him. Okay, so this guy, I don't know if you can see it, but he literally dropped his ladders. Like the ladders fell off of the truck. And he just could you just hear him just bouncing on the ground. You can see him pulling the ladders back in the truck. Oh man, that's a foul. <laughs> oh, sorry about that, dude. Alright guys, going right in mono, going in solo. Cloister about to catch some hands right here. Let's see how quickly we can take this guy down. I'm thinking 10 seconds left. Let's go. Alright, that is fire guys. 
I was thinking we were gonna take it down with about 10 seconds left. We took that, we took that sucker down with what? I think it was like 17 seconds left on the clock, so hey, beat my um, record from last time. I did beat it before on my live stream, so bring your best electric types to my champs. Bring out um, your best Tyranitar with Stone Edge. You should be able to pretty easily take out Cloyster. So we got 1354 on the Cloyster right here. Um, I don't have any Raspberries for whatever reason, so I'm gonna have to go Pineapple Berry. See if we can catch it. Woo! Pineapple Berry on the first ball, Cloyster down. And that's gonna be about it. Cloyster. Not a problem at all for me, really. Um, I brought out my best to really caught my attention. Still haven't caught a good Cloyster, but um, I've really had no problem taking out Cloyster. This one coming in the moveset of Ice Shard and Hydro Pumped. It had Ice Shard and Aurora Beam to start off, so I think as long as it doesn't have Hydro Pump, which is going to be one of the strongest moves to take on, you should be pretty good to go. If you use your two best electro types, I suggest um, Zapdos and Raikou to start off. And then Tuma Champ, so your best Raikou, um, Preferably maxed out or powered up at least. So your best Raikou, your best Zapdos, two Machamp, and your best Tyranitar with Stone Edge. And that should be pretty good. So we're gonna see if we can find a solo bull nine tail, see if we can get some revenge there. If we don't, conclusion of today's video. Alright, so to sum this all up, I'm not upset at the fact that Harry Potter Wizards Unite is going to exist in the near future. In fact, I am very satisfied that Niantic responded to what we had to say, whether it was angry comments or detailed and well-explained comments. However, I want Pokemon Go to become the greatest game of all time, so I want to make sure that there's no distractions within the company when they already have enough work on their hands. So, we've got some positive feedback from Niantic, they're hiring staff, they're working on the game, and they're going to have more projects underneath the Pokemon Go, which is fine. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of this whole um, Harry Potter wizard thing. But look, I'm a Pokemon trainer. I'm not a wizard. All right? Let's keep moving Pokemon Go forward, first and foremost. DX1 signing out.